My name is Rochelle and I'm here to tell you a little bit today about the benefits um, of force therapy and programs like Dreamcatcher and how it can serve many people on many levels. A little bit about how I got started in this. I actually was born three months early. I was born at St. Mary's, um, born premature, and my family growing up had heard, when I was growing up, had heard about um, equine therapy and the benefits that that serves. And so I got started in equine therapy at 11 months of age. So I've been in the saddle since 11 months of age. Um, I started with a program called Happy on a Horse where I was 11 months of age. And then at four years of age, I went to a program in Carbondale, Colorado called Soper's Therapy Services, where I have been until college where I found Dreamcatcher. Um, during my time at Soper's Therapy, we were finding that the horse, while riding, was loosening up my muscles and allowing my hips to open up and improving my balance and coordination. Uh, at 10 years of age, I actually had to have a series of corrective surgeries because with my disability, my hips were backwards in the sockets when I was born, and so I had to have corrective surgeries to be able to turn that around. And while riding did um, benefit my mobility, there still was some work that needed to be done, and so I had corrective surgeries. I was in a reclining wheelchair for six to 10 weeks uh, after surgery, during which I could not move. I had to leave my legs straight out, um, and then I got back to riding eventually after surgery. And my physical therapist, before riding, had said that I was not loosening up that I was gonna have to go back to the hospital to maybe get some more work done because my muscles were not loosening up. That was on Thursday. On Friday, then the next day, I rode the horse for about an hour. Um, and then the following Monday, I went back to physical therapy and my physical therapist had said that my hip joints were opening up and that I was fine and perfectly relaxed and she actually could move my muscles. Um, it serves also on an emotional level to work with horses and a mental level because people with disabilities don't feel um, as judged by the horses as we sometimes do with people. And so sometimes it's easier to have us talk with the horses and be with the horses and we find it more calming and relaxing um, to do that. So horses can serve a great benefit on both an emotional and a mental level. Um, and for me as a college student, they often do because I find myself busy with work and stuff. And so it's just nice and calm to come and be with the horses and enjoy their company. So I hope you enjoy this riding video that we've made to show you the benefits of the program and what you will be donating to. And I would highly suggest to anyone that wanted to get involved with a program like Dreamcatcher um, that it is a very good thing to get involved with, and I would encourage it, whether that's volunteering, um, donating, or writing. It's a program that will serve many people for many years to come. Thank you. And then we kind of tilt her back so that you can get that leg over, okay? Spread a little bit for you. Easy. Good. There you go. And then it helps if you put her, your hand under her knee. There you go. Easy. And I'm going to move your butt back a little bit, okay? Ready? One, two, three. There you go. Oh. Good. Good. Work those knees back. Yep. There you go. How's that feel? Good. So it'll feel better once my yeah. knee is off. <laughs> Good. Let's wrap those reins. Okay. And then walk on. Walk on, bud. You just walk with her, Sherry. And we don't put feet in stirrups until we get out. We'll go all the way outside.
Remember, real quiet hands when you're backing them up. Yep. Good job. And this is how it's done.